Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Oblivion. You guys seem to really enjoy when I just kind of went and made a video about a place in Oblivion, and I enjoy it too. I like talking about my favorite quests and places in Oblivion. So today, we're going to talk about Aleswell. I call it Allswell because it's easier to say that, but it's really, in the game, it's pronounced Aleswell. So, Aleswell. Well, it's kind of a weird town that I would say the average person wouldn't find because, oh my god, the sun's, hold on, the sun decided to come out. So, Aleswell is south of Brazil and north of the Imperial City. It's right in that little road where you go south of Brazil. By the way, I'll show a map. South of Brazil, kind of splits off. It's really weird. It's a weird location. And if you use a lot of fast traveling, no matter what, if you do fast traveling and exploring, it's just out of the way. But it is a very unique town. The sun's going away now. I'm just going to leave it alone. So, Aleswell is a town that is full of invisible people. It's got an inn and some farms and houses, but it's invisible people. And this is probably the easiest and least rewarding quest possible. Because all you have to do for this quest is talk to the invisible people, talk to a guy that's located in a fort literally like 20 seconds away, fight off three um, wilderness beasts that are invisible depending on your level, talk to the guy, cast a spell in the middle of the village, boom, everyone's saved, your reward is that you get a free bed. That's all it is, but the premise of it and the writing of it is fantastic. So first, you talk to these people, and they're like, yeah, being invisible sucks, I can't run an inn, can't see each other, you gotta help us, we just don't know what to do. So then you're fighting the invisible monsters. You talk to the guy, he hates being bothered, he's a researcher, he's, an, he's a jerk, he's written beautifully, and then my quest kind of glitched out, sometimes this quest glitches out. But sometimes he can tell you about the spell if you want. Um, but you just, he just gives you a scroll and he hates you. I actually decided to speechcraft him and make him like me. You know, because I know how the speechcraft system works. It's pretty easy to figure out that, you know, what he doesn't like and like. So it's kind of interesting. But then when you cast the spell, everyone likes you. Except this one guy, the inn owner, who's the main kind of quest giver. And there's his two sisters who then hate you. Because their, the brother will not stop talking about how you made everyone visible again. So it's always, it's like, instead of just everyone saying, yay, you saved us, uh, it's, there's like, the people that are like, hey, thank you, and then the people that are like, bruh, this guy is annoying. Shut up. And when, he, when you ask for a bed, he's always, it's always free for you, friend. So they, they, there's a lot of extra dialogue. And if you ever go back, it always reminds you what you did. Now, the actual uh, place where the mage is located is a fort, and it's... I wouldn't say it's a dungeon, it's technically a dungeon. It's got a few enemies in it. Nothing too bad. I mean, I went through it, like, at level 4 there was two scamps, and a mage, and like... I think there was something else that I missed. The cave doesn't have any doors in it, it was like a two minute raid, and it didn't give me anything. But that's Aleswell. Aleswell, Aleswell. Pretty interesting place. It's a nice kind of, if you do want to find it, it's a nice kind of, if you have to level up, it's a nice place to just go, get a free bed, level up, and then you have a fast travel point in an area of the map that you really might not travel around too much. Um, and I, I kind of, I just, I like the premise of the quest. The game uses invisibility to its advantage in quite a way interesting. By the way, when I did this quest, I was part vampire, so that's why you might see some night eye detect life. Detect life, if you can't. Ankator, if he's not in his laboratory, you gotta have detect life, because it is impossible to find him. I looked for him, I couldn't find him, because they have like 95% chameleon on. So let me know what you guys think of Aleswell in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.